Well, new at 11, a creature paraded around the lawn and invaded the marching band practice. It's part of a hands-on workshop put on by the Stan Winston School of Character Arts. To visit a group of people who are so enthusiastic, it kind of rekindles our own uh, love of this. So the university had put together a, a concept for a year-long Art of the Moving Creature course. And George Sampson got in touch with us and said, we know Stan's an alum, is there any way you could help support this effort? And we said, are you kidding? Our library is yours, our artists are yours, let's make this happen. I mean, it's, it's something completely unbelievable that you have to make believable. The, you know, it's just, it's big and it's goofy and it's fun, especially for the university. This is a spectacle. At the end of the first day, so much got accomplished. The enthusiasm, the focus, learning ability was so impressive. It wasn't just a relief, because a relief would be, okay, we're gonna be fine. You know, it was like, oh my God, look at this. I was like, you know, what do you normally do? Oh, I, I'm a tech director for theater. What do you normally do? Oh, I'm a fine artist. What do you do? I'm an, I'm an architecture major. And suddenly around, they're monster makers and really good. What they're getting out of a class like this one is working as a team, a goal gets thrust upon you. Someone says, I need you to do this. And then you have to get the energy and the enthusiasm about someone else's product and then have it realized in full scale. I mean, one of the, the great things about the class is its interdisciplinary nature. Getting all of these students out of the studio, of the building that they're in, and getting them to work together. I mean, you get to build creatures. You get to actually get in there and build something. And now that people are seeing this, all my friends that didn't take the class are seriously regretting it. They're like, we should have taken this class. And I'm like, hello, I know. <laughs> You know, all these things that you might have seen at some point or another, but you weren't sure how they were done. Uh, getting that kind of behind the scenes knowledge has been just really fantastic. To learn from these guys who've done Alien, who've done Predator, you know, who've done Jurassic Park. I mean, I, I when I saw Jurassic Park for the first time, I was absolutely terrified. I wanted to know how the heck they did it, you know? And then they're sharing this information with us. I feel absolutely honored that I get a chance to listen to it every, every day. Even if they're not going to go to Los Angeles and build creatures, they're going to do something else. They're going to, they're going to go into other stage work and whatever like that, and they're going to apply this for the rest of their lives. They're going to think back. It doesn't matter if they're building a Halloween costume for their kid 20 years from now. So it's, it's, it's that experience, that enthusiasm to, to build something in the future. These kids, it's coming to them. They don't have to be in Los Angeles. Stan Winston School's coming to them. I would hope the students walk away from this situation with a sense that all things are possible. So it's not just about the monster, it's not just about the creature, it's about the creation of the creature. It's the process. That's the magic.